All right, here now with more attorney David Wool and immigration attorney Francisco Hernandez. All right, so David, Hi. I'm going to go to you first. Um, the decision coming Tuesday, what will it be? Well, you know, this the conflict lies, of course, in the fact, Senator, that Mr. Trump has taken a very aggressive stance on illegal immigration in general, the wall, a deportation of violent gangbangers and other criminals, and, of course, sanctuary cities, the war on sanctuary cities. I suspect, because he does have sympathy for the 800,000 kids, many of whom have actually worked hard to maintain their status, I suspect that he will allow them to stay, but what he'll do is strictly enforce the, the currently existing tenants of DACA, which means no crimes being committed, felonies or misdemeanors, which means not leaving the country and trying to sneak back in, which means enforcing every little detail and requirement of DACA. And if you violate it, you will be deported. But the practicalities of trying how to will deport that, how will that, that way wait, let's stick just with, aren't there. Let's stick with that. And, and how will that go over with his base? I don't think it might go over real well with some on the right, no question about that. But the reality is Mr. Trump has a lot to get done, a lot of laws to pass and Understood. needs cooperation with some of the people who won't cooperate unless he goes a certain way with respect to DACA. Francisco, would you be happy with that compromise? Well, there's no compromise. He's going, I mean, I, I think uh, President Trump has drawn the line and thrown it to Congress. Guys, we are 17 years into doing something about this issue. Nobody wants to punish these kids, right? We have to give them due price. They're going to make me rich. I mean, really, let's talk about this, guys. It's time to get off the pot and do something about immigration reform. Whatever you do, good, bad, or ugly, do something. But you know what, President Trump, yes, nobody, uh, he, he feels for these folks, these young men and women. They were brought here through no fault of their own. Uh, just go ahead and give them a residency, uh, green card, citizenship, whatever it is, let them earn it. Well, it's the fact not a that, gift. Francisco, I want to stay with you for a second, because the, the fact that the president hasn't made the announcement, first he suggested it was coming, it could come this afternoon. He didn't do that. Then the White House says it's coming Tuesday. The fact that he hasn't put something out there means perhaps he's conflicted. What do you think he's most conflicted well, on? The problem is he's written a check on border on, on sanctuary cities, on border wall, on all these things, and he can't deliver them without Congress. Now, he went and ran for president, assuming that the Republican Congress, House and the Senate, were going to go with him, and they're like turning the backs on him because they're chicken. You know, and, and quite frankly, President Trump, draw the line. Put your proposal. He had a 10-point proposal. Get somebody to sponsor it, and let's get down in negotiation. Do the right thing for the country. It doesn't matter what you do. Just do something. You know, David, Sarah Anything. Sanders in the White House press briefing today said, reiterated the, that the president's heart will be in this decision. It will be, and he really, he really does care about kids. You know, I think Senator Tillis had some sure. great ideas, too. Make sure that they're working. And the idea of service or a requirement or perhaps an option of joining the armed services for some of these kids sure. show their patriotic mm. tendencies, I think is a fantastic idea. I think it's going to work out in the end, but there's going to be stricter, tougher requirements for the kids who really want to be Americans and want to stay in this country. Uh, and I think it'll it'll but pan it, out in that direction. All right, Francisco, David, thank you. But in the you. end, we got to talk about the elephant in the room. We got to do something about this. We can't right. just keep patching it up. All right, we've got to leave it there, guys. Thanks. Thank you.